Hello and welcome to computer class. My name is Dave and today we're talking about videography but conceptualization in videography. Um, so what is conceptualization? Well it's, it's basically that. It's, it's to birth an idea or to come up with an idea and to um, develop a plan to put it into existence. And so uh, conceptualization is sometimes the most overlooked part of a video. Sometimes we have this idea that when you make a video, you just grab a camera, run outside, and start shooting video. That's not a good idea. It's better to carefully plan your videography, and that way you will have a very thought out and effective video with a message that's crystal clear that can present what you want it to to your audience. And so, let me give you several tips for conceptualizing your video to start out with in videography. The first is understand. Think through all of the details. Have a clearly defined purpose and goal. And I think that's probably the reason most people fail to get decent videos off the ground is they don't have a good goal. They just wing it and do whatever. But I guarantee you all of the great YouTube videos out there and all of the um, great works of cinematography um, in video form have all started with incredible planning and careful drawing out of the script and everything that we're going to talk about in these subsequent lessons. And as a result, there was a great video produced. So to have a clearly defined purpose or goal, write down your idea. It should not be longer than 30 words. Don't write some complicated huge paragraph, but write your idea down and it, this forces you to think uh, through your idea from beginning to end and, in a way that can't be done behind the camera. And that way you, you flesh it out and you get your idea on paper and then you're like, oh, now I have a clear understanding of where I'm going. And you can kind of build the framework of your film around that idea. Answer questions like, what do I want my audience to think or do or know by the end of this presentation? In other words, what's the call to action when this thing finishes? Is it that they buy a product? Is it that they go see a movie? Is it a trailer? You know, like, what is it? What's the purpose? And then the purpose of your video becomes the anchor, and you anchor that video down, and then you really start creating a great idea. Okay? So understand. Then secondly, under understand, realize your potential. Video is a really powerful medium. Um, it's it's powerful for uh, for one reason. It's emotional. Like, have you ever watched a film and, and just bawled, cried about it? Um, have you ever watched a film and you felt angry or frustrated? Or maybe you felt sympathy towards someone in the film? All of these things are stuff you understand subliminally about the film, and that's what makes it really, really a good movie. And so realize that when you're creating something for someone else to see, you need to write into the video. It shouldn't just be like plastic, like whoop, whoop, like nothing happened, but write into the video emotion and feeling and what the characters are going through. And that will create realism in your films that you create. Even your um, simple, small films that you create, it will create more realism in them. Letter C, understand your audience. So what's the age demographic of your video? How old are the people watching the video? Ask yourself, how do I connect with this person? How do I reach them where they're at? What are they feeling? What's their economic status? Do they have um, something going on in their lives that I need to address in this video? That would be an important detail that if I overlook, the person would think I'm insensitive. All of these things create an understanding as to is this a great film or is it a okay film once you create it. And then letter D, understand your limitations. In every case, when you're creating a video, you have a limited budget more than likely. How much are you going to spend on the video? You have a certain amount of time and you have a deadline. You got to get it done. So what's the deadline? Um, and you need to write these down in a spreadsheet and kind of lay them out for yourself and say, this is what I've got. Uh, what equipment do you have? 
Uh, can you shoot multiple shots at the same time? A lot of times, videographers will save time by doing this. They'll they'll stick different angles. They'll stick you know a GoPro in a car or some sort of uh, DSLR in a car, but they'll also have the high res footage from above, and they'll get multiple shots of the car blowing up at once. I mean, you can't just blow up a car like 15 times. You only got one car, right? And once it's blown up, it's blown up. You can't put it back together. So what's the equipment you need to shoot multiple shots at the same time? Potentially, what's your runtime? How long can the video be? Uh, does it have a time limit? Is it going on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok? What's it going on? There's there's time limits for some of these social media platforms if you were to make a video for those. Um, what's your context? Is it playing in a place like a church or a funeral? I mean, that would kind of dictate a different approach to the video. And sometimes context actually ruins a video, to be honest. Sometimes you will rule out an idea for your video simply because it doesn't fit the context. If something's inappropriate, for instance, and doesn't fit the context, then maybe you should not make it. In fact, I would highly recommend you not make it at that point. So again, there should be some understanding. The second thing is team. Tell the vision to a group. You need a team to succeed in every area of life. And when it comes to conceptualization, this becomes more and more real. So develop a creative team. You can bounce ideas off of someone that people that are around you that will encourage you and create momentum to the idea and that they won't they will kind of foster it and you'll laugh and you'll cry and you'll uh, go through the struggle of creating and birthing this film together. OK, so some something to remember about this is that there's no I in team. Team is a group. And so everybody has to work together when it comes to a creative team. Working with people, sometimes people have this idea that they, um, sometimes people with an idea are the hardest to work with because they can't accept suggestions. It's really difficult for people who have a great idea to maybe change that idea just a little bit and associate a suggestion for someone in the group. But everybody in the group should seemingly cre uh, be able to contribute and that's conceptualization. The power and the synergy of a team is more creative than one brain and one individual just sitting there in their mama's basement. Don't let people stand around. Get everyone thinking. Give them a task. Some, some of you guys are more natural born leaders and when it comes to videography and conceptualization of a film, um, you have more ability to lead the team then maybe, you know, you should be put in charge of the team. Um, but don't let people stand around. Everybody needs to have um, a leader that does not lord over people. Because when that happens and we beat the snot out of people to get something done, then the creativity almost dies and the conceptualization becomes um, just a train wreck, to be honest. So develop a creative team. Letter B, bounce ideas off your team. Okay. Be willing to try anything. If someone suggests something and you think it's crazy, be willing to try it. Be willing to at least entertain the idea because it might be the one idea that actually is successful. In fact, I found that when it when a creative team gets together, a lot of times people are throwing out all sorts of ideas. Sometimes they're just joking and sometimes the jokes actually become some of the strongest ideas for the original idea that make it so much better. So. Be willing to try anything and try to incorporate a portion of everybody's ideas into your video. I mean, it's not always possible because sometimes it's not potato, potato. It's not tomato, tomato. Sometimes it's like potato, string beans. And it's so different from everybody's that it just won't fit. But then there's a lot of times where everybody's got a little piece that can kind of fit into the puzzle. And it looks great. So be willing to try anything, in other words. Number three, structure. Just making decisions is hard. It's true. Like, it's actually hard to decide on something sometimes. Sometimes we kind of have a conceptual idea of what we want to make, but it's hard to get it out of our head. And so here are some narrowing down for you, uh, uh, video categories, if you will. Uh, so if, when it comes to filmmaking, you can make a narrative video uh, it's basically a video that states, do you want to tell a fictional or non-fictional story? So it narrates something. 
Uh, you've got documentary. Do you want to tell a story rooted in reality, exploring people, places, events, history, and ideas? So the documentary could be about something that's occurring right now or something from the past. Do you want to do something like a voiceover film where you have this cinematic feeling and you're trying to get people to think about a specific idea? Do you want to record... Uh, do, do you want a recording of someone's voice in the background talking all the time and explaining the film and it's not really anybody on the film explaining it, but it's someone in the background explaining it is the idea behind that type of film. Do you want a corporate video? Do you want to create a how-to video or a video about a corporation or group that inspires you to join? Uh, again, lots of different things there. Do you want a commercial? Are you trying to sell a product? Or do you want a trailer? Do you want to attract people to watch a movie? Or do you want to make a movie? Uh, or, a pro or a promotional video for an event. And the list could go on and on and on and on and on. There's so much power with video. There's so many things you could create with video. Don't stop there. The real answer is, what's the question you want to answer? And it's what the type of video do you want to? So look up the different types of video and decide on one, because that's incredibly important. So here's a project for you um, to do. Um, First, write down a 30-word description of your video idea. This statement should include the purpose of uh, or why you are trying to accomplish or what you are trying to accomplish through the video. So the purpose or what you're trying to accomplish through the video. It should include the basic plot, the characters, maybe some of the theme, the target audience. So you could write down uh, a 30-word description of the video. So for instance, if I wanted to do a video about uh, a product, for instance, like Coca-Cola, I might start out by writing down a description that we're going to shoot you know, a bottle of Coke and describe how good it tastes and yada, 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 on and on and on about the product and that we're going to have beads of sweat dripping down the bottle and someone picking it up and unscrewing the cap and throwing it down their throat, you know whatever describe what's going to happen in the in the, in the video in 30 words or less okay and that would be the basic plot of that commercial there's not really much more to a coke commercial than that if you noticed um number two choose the type of video um to make from the list below maybe make a promotional video for a product that doesn't exist maybe make a movie trailer and the reason i've selected these is because they're easier to start out with for young videographers so pick from maybe this list of three and you'll get yourself an easy win and then you can move on to harder things promotional video for a product that doesn't exist a movie trailer for a movie that hasn't come out yet and this is kind of just as a fun project to do or number three, a promotional video for maybe a school event or maybe a group that you're a part of. And so I, I think that that will get you started in the conceptualization idea for videography. And hopefully you have learned something today that you can apply to your skills as a cinematographer. And I will see you in the next video.